All right, here we go. Question 21 of 21. This will be the last problem in our college algebra homework number one in my lab math. And we have another divide. So if you've been watching the last few problems, we've been doing long division. And I did save the best for last. If you notice here, the divisor is quadratic. And the dividend has a lot of terms. In fact, it's the highest degree is four. So this is a uh, quartic <laughs> function, if you want to know what it's called. This one's quadratic. This one is uh, quartic. And so we're going to come over here and we're going to crank out the long division one more time and see if we can pick the right answer. Here we go. First step, how many times does v squared go into 2v to the fourth? Or another way to look at that, you can say, what is 2v to the fourth divided by v squared. Well, that's going to be 2v squared. And if you look at where I write that, I like to keep my like terms lined up, okay? Next step, now that we know that we've got a 2v squared as the first term of our quotient, then we're going to distribute. We're going to multiply 2v squared times both terms of the divisor. 2v squared times v squared, that is 2v to the fourth. And did you notice that these match? They will always match if you set up the problem correctly. 2v squared times negative 2, that's going to be a negative 4v squared. Now, do you see where I wrote that? Notice that I lined it up with the v to the third. Those are not like terms, okay? So that's probably not the best place to put that. So I'm going to erase that, and I'm actually going to line it up with the like term. Pay attention to what you're doing and make sure you keep your like terms lined up, okay? And again, if you've watched the previous two videos, you know the next step says draw the line, change the sign, and then combine. 2v to the fourths cancel. Look, the 5v to the third, he's going to fall through the hole. There's no one for him to go with. He just falls through. And then I've got negative 12v squared plus 4v squared. That is negative 8v squared, okay? If you feel like it, you can go ahead and bring down the negative 5v and the 10. Not required, but if it feels good, do it, okay? And then we're going to rinse and repeat. What is 5v to the third divided by v squared, okay? 5v to the third divided by v squared, that is 5v. So we're going to say plus 5v. See that? Keeping my like terms lined up. And then just like we did the 2v squared, we're going to distribute the 5v to the divisor. 5v times v squared, that is 5v to the third. And then 5v times negative 2 is negative 10v. Remember what I said about keeping the like terms lined up. So be careful where you write those. Next, draw the line. Change the sign. And then combine. Negative 8v squared falls through the hole. Negative 5 plus 10 is a plus 5v. Plus 10 comes down. And then one more time, we're going to rinse and repeat. We've got negative 8v squared divided by v squared. Those v squareds are going to cancel, and that's going to leave us negative 8. And that is the last term of the quotient. So we now know what the quotient is. And if you come over here to the multiple choice answers, you're going to see that we know the answer is B, unless there's no remainder. B and D have exactly the same quotient, and now it depends on the remainder. So we are going to have to crank this remainder out. Here we go. Negative 8 is going to distribute. Negative 8 times V squared makes a negative 8V squared. Remember I said that those should always match, and they do. And then negative 8 times negative 2, that is a plus 16 
draw the line, change the signs, and then combine. So the 5V is going to fall through the hole. 10 minus 16 is negative 6. Look at this. We do get a remainder. So the answer is definitely not D. We do get a remainder, and it is 5V minus 6. Oh, fingers crossed. Here we go. Man, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.